What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon or er, yeah, Crystal Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke, where we do the Nuzlocke in the randomized fashion on the Emerald game. So last time we left off, we got up here to Malvile City, Rokusho rocking 18. He's leveling up, dude. He's doing real good. Pride still leading the pack. Goat being goat. Alexis doing what they do. Not Tog bring it up, and Taco he he's getting there. So. Okay, I guess we... I don't care. Right, you lost. That, that's nice. Alright, so I just want to get some some more battles in. I was going to say some more battles in just so we can get some more experience before we go ahead and try to take on the gym. Alright, so... Well, let us go for... We'll see if we can double team on the Nido King because I don't think that the... Espeon can take us both at this at once. Oh, poison points a thing. But he gets the level out of it. Hell yeah, dude. Why would you learn Harden at level 19? Like, come on, man. And we'll use Water Gun as well. Well, Water Gun's not really doing all too much damage. Vice Grip's doing more. So let's go for Vice Grip and Rock Smash. I know Rock Smash, yes, I didn't think Rock Smash was going to kill it. But... You know, lower the defense. Let Rokusho swoop in. Yeah, 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 you and your junior partner. I don't care. So we do need to heal now. All right, so let's go ahead. Yeah, sorry. I know I'm not talking a whole lot about last week's episode or yesterday's episode, but, you know, if you watched it, you watched it. If you didn't, you didn't. Um, you weren't. I mean, I don't want to say that you were missing a whole hell of a lot, but you're not, honestly. Well, I guess maybe you did. You missed an entire gym, you missed an entire island, you missed our entire adventure this way. So, yeah, you missed some stuff. If you want to go check it out, that'd be great. Um, you can go ahead and pause this here, or you can just click on the on my profile there, and it should take you right over to it. Um, there's also a chance that someone didn't scoop up the code yet, because there is two codes. Actually, there's four codes because I accidentally forgot to switch the previous day's codes um, on the second batch of codes so on last or on yesterday's video there's actually four different codes on it so you know if you're into codes and you're trying to get those codes and if you're asking me or if you're asking yourself what codes is he talking about I'm talking about codes for the current TCG set that's out there right now. Don't ask me what it is because I really don't remember because there's just so fucking many of them. Battle something or another. Um, hang on, I can get to the actual name. Um, after we go ahead and attack this Swellow here. So, gotta go to Togs, Messages. So these here are for the Battle Styles packs. Now, I don't know. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to collect anything because, you know, scalpers and shit have raided every single Walmart that I've ever that I ever go to or Target or the mall or even my local game store to the point where you can't find them anymore because people go in there and they buy all of them to resell them because you know they're a bunch of cunts. Um so that's a thing. I mean, and I mean, I guess it is what it is. People got to make a living somehow. But you know, I <laughs> I would like a pack too, please. Um no, if anything, I will no, we don't want to learn Leer. Now, if anything, what I'll end up doing is I'll probably just end up going online and ordering a box or something like that. I don't know. Because, um, unfortunately, that's what you have to do. Like, you can't go to your local game store and you can't support, like, your local... I mean, I guess they're out there getting all the support that they need because these people are going there and buying all of them all at once. And it's, it's a bunch of bullshit, dude. I, I don't know. I, I guess that is the name of the game. I just wasn't expecting so many people to be over the craze of Pokemon, and I think it's probably because the what was it, the Shining Fates was the last one, with their VMAX Shiny Charizard, and the VMAX uh, Pikachu uh, Full Art Hollow, which was like some stupid amount of money for those things. So people, they would spend a ridiculous amount of money on these boxes of cards, and you know, they might have a chance at getting one. What is this route? Um, so they might have a chance at getting something, and you know, I don't, I don't know how good that chance is, but I can almost guarantee you, out of all those people buying, spending all that money, I doubt most of them made their money back. So, it is what it is. I mean, I guess that's the that's the gamble that they took, because um, that's really all it is, is gambling. Um, you know, they're putting a stupid amount of money into a project and hoping for the best. 
I mean, I really don't know how else to explain gambling other than that. Okay, so it's Xin Xiao. Um, all right, it's an electric type. We don't have anything to, you know, okay, or not, Rokushio. You couldn't calm down a little bit. Okay. All right, I want to double battle these guys. I say it would have been pretty neat to have a each and show on our team. Um, yeah, I, I think it would have been pretty cool. All right, so Pride and Rokusho versus Murkrow and Nummel. Pride used Water Gun, Nummel instantly dies. And it was a crit, so, you know, he, he double dead. Dead, dead, double dead. Ooh, and you're going to use Peck on me? That ain't very nice. That's not very nice, Murkrow. You, you know that both my mods were weak to pack, but you did it anyway. I mean, I guess that's just how you play the game, but that's besides the point. I'd rather train! I don't care. I don't care what you would rather do. You, instead, you decided to challenge me to a Pokemon battle where you lost. Alright, so Psychic Kimberley with a Spearow. Like, you can use... Okay, I was say, you can use Peck, but Rokusha's gonna kill you one way or another. And, but he, you know, he just did it with less hits than I thought he was going to. Doing your triathlon training, that's nice. A Manectric, huh? Okay. I'll smack you with two vice grips and take you down. Oh, take three, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. So, down goes that one. No! Oh, you don't battle me? Okay, the air is tasty here. I don't know why, but okay. So he's a bug catcher, huh? Bug Maniac Thomas with a quillfish. Hello, Mr. Quillfish. You're, you're intimidate. You don't have intimidate. Okay. I thought maybe he'd have intimidate, but I, I, was, I was wrong. So that is one dead quillfish. And comes an oddish. Kind of wish that we had a bug type move, but we don't, so Vice Grip will just have to do. Alright, once we get the Roku show to level 21, just because he's almost there. Like, what do you think? Are these? Yes, yes, I think they're beautiful. You did a, such a good job planting them. Please let you evaluate my Pokemon. What are you going to evaluate them for? Are you some kind of professional evaluator? There we go. Dude, I love the fact that we found Flamethrower. Like, the fact that we were given flamethrower is the best. Um, I'm very oh man, I should switch out into uh, one of the other one of the other ones, but that's okay. Because we'll just water gun you, get a, a little bit of experience you'll give us. There's a tangela, which means we can go right back out into goat. Because goat got that flamethrower. Like uh, I mean, I am so happy with flamethrower. Such a good move. An absol, huh? Um, all right, let's go into Alexis. Just because I knew that there wasn't going to be much that this absolute was going to be able to do to us at such a low level, so, you know. Oh, but we do get lots of experience. Get Alexis up to level 20 here. And then comes a Deli Bird, huh? Oh, well, let's go on to go. All right. So I'm kind of nervous about going up and fighting the uh, the uh, the electric gym here. Um, well, I guess it's not going to be electric, but um, I'm nervous about going up and fighting it just because I don't know really what it's going to have, right? and I don't remember what Watson's ace is, like the level-wise. Um, I do remember that, of course, our dad, uh, the fifth gym leader, so this here's the third, so I do remember the fifth gym leader, his ace was... 31, I think. I think is what I remember. Um, so I'm thinking that Watson's has got to be 20 and change. Um, of course. Oh, we already have. So let's just buy nine of them to make it even 20. But why don't you just buy one more? Because then you could have gotten the thing. Well, I mean, I could have. But, alright, so we're already... Yeah. But I like even amounts of things, I guess, is where my brain goes. I don't know. That's just something that I've always done. I wish Fluffy Tail. I wish that this guy still had just full heals. We'll get some paralyzed potions. We'll get a ton of them. Why not? Alright, so I guess there's really nothing else to do 
but to go and uh, try to take them on, right? Now, I think I have to go back there eventually to get Surf. Why am I getting phone calls? Wally. Okay, that's nice. Okay, that, that's cool. Was I supposed to go visit him? I don't remember. So, we did heal, right? I'm pretty sure we healed. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's do this. Double battle it up, boy. Got my big old messenger RT here. Actually, it's not even a mason jar. I'm just really lazy, and it's actually an old Prego bottle. All right, so Muck and Golem, huh? So we'll use Vice Grip on that and Water Gun on a Golem, just because you know four times effective and whatnot. So I didn't think it was, I didn't think it's sturdy, but Rakusho gets a level. Very nice. Do a Cascoon. Okay. Okay. So Muck's gonna use Harden. Now I don't have any Ground type. Um, I don't have any kind of ground typing. Hmm. So we'll use Vice Grip on the Cascoon. We'll switch Pride out for Goat. Damn, dude, that actually did quite a bit of damage to that Cascoon. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll take out that Cascoon and then we'll use Flamethrower on Muck. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness, they both lived. Okay. I was not expecting them both to live. That's interesting. Okay. Down goes the muck. And go gets level. Nice. A Feraligator. All right. So Vice Grip. We got a bop right on out of there. Let's go back into Pride. Just because I know Pride is... Well, depending... I guess it really depends on what his ace is. Is going to determine, like who is best suited, but based on level, because Pride's already almost up there. I, I would like to say that I can put my faith in Pride. Um, you know, just, I don't know, my, my thought process, I guess. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta fight him regardless. That's fine. Um, okay, he's got a Paris, we got some Rokusho. You're gonna have effect powder, aren't you? Or whatever the fuck it's called, where like I touch you and all right, so a slow king. Okay, so psychic and water. I guess let's just stick it with Rokusho. I mean, psychic attacks really won't have too much effect. See just how much water gun does, which doesn't really do all too much. Tackles not going to do all too much. Yawn, that's annoying, but okay, there we go. As a slow king was a that one honestly it kind of worried me a little bit just because. Of its typing, I guess. You love shiny things. That's lovely. <sighs> Alright. So you got a Relicanth and a Scyther. So I do have something for the Relicanth. I do. So we're gonna go ahead and swap out Rokusho for Alexis. And then Pride. We're gonna see if Pride can put that Scyther to sleep. There we go. Rock Tomb, that's fine. So absorb on you, and then we can proceed to Water Gun you. Oh, you woke up. Okay. That's it. So for those of you who, who weren't aware, Relicanth is a really, really, really old Pokemon. Um, what is it, like the Millennia Pokemon or something like that? Where it basically just sits at the bottom of the ocean forever. Um, ooh, a Crobat. But it's a rock water type, so you know, four times effective for the for that. And then so Crobat so Sonic, that's annoying. Of course. Really need that relicant to go away. Ooh, he's confused us both. Oh dang, the uh, the speed fall has dropped Alexis' speed all the way down. Alright, so this is getting scary just because... Alright, so let's just take out this. Alright, so... Confusion, and now bite. Can we... Can Alexis break out of the confusion here? Like, what the hell? Um, Soda Pop. 
so glad that we bought some soda pops just because they heal just a truck ton. Astonish. So now we might flinch or we might be confused. Flinched. Okay. That's not annoying at all at all. Alright, pride. Oh my goodness, dude. All of these flinches and. Oof. The flinches and the confusions are really getting old. Um, so Alexis will finish that off, and then we will use a soda pop over on Pride. Like that's a what? Like that's one of the bad things about devil battles is that you have the potential of getting really, really boned over if only just one of your Pokemon can't can't do stuff. You know what I mean? I don't know. Double battles have never been my forte. Double battles have never been something that I pride myself in being good at. Um, I mean, I've done them. I can do them. I don't like to do them, I guess. Uh, I'm just not a fan. And now our attack gets lowered. Okay. Now you punch it to sleep. Okay, that's not annoying at all. And we missed the submission move. Of course we do. Of of course we do. Astonish. Are we gonna flinch? Again? Nope. Okay, good. And I was afraid that the growl would have, you know, prevented us from actually doing that. So, now we just have this bugger here. Had that bugger there. Alright, so now we have to use... Do we, do we get any awakenings or do we still have any chest of berries? I don't think we have any... Paralyze heal, soda pop. Well, we could use the soda pop. So let's go ahead and heal everyone up real quick. Just because we got so many of it and we got a bunch of it for free. Alright, so now do we have any bear or any... Do we have anything that will let him wake that up? I don't believe we do. How about bear? We do have a chest of bear, okay. Chesto berries are our friends. All right, ladies and gents, we are here. Are you ready? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not ready at all. Not a fan. I'm afraid. Here comes a Torkoal. All right. So we can switch right out into Pride. Torkoal, you curse. Okay. So, I do love the fact that Curse, well, I guess it depends on what Pokemon uses it, but depending on what Pokemon uses it, it will depend on what it does. So, for those of you who don't know, Curse, when used on a Ghost Pokemon, it cuts its HP in half, but then it puts a Curse on your opponent. Um, I know that I used to use Curse on my Trevenant once upon a time, just because it was really, really stupid. It was like, what, Curse, Sub, Leech, Seed, and something else? The Horn Leech or something like that? I don't remember. But... Damn, was it annoying. I don't even remember the hell of Grimer, okay. I also remember I had a, uh, a Trevenant with, oh, what the hell was it? It was um, with Confuse Ray, and I used it against um, Sucker for Jessica, because Sucker for Jessica, like, I used to watch his videos all the damn time. And then when I finally got the opportunity to battle him myself, um, I was like, crap, I gotta, like, bring my A-game here, so I decided to bring my Confused Ray Trevenant with Leech Seed, and, uh... I didn't mean to use that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, no, my Leech Seed Confused Ray substitute Horn Leeching, um, Trevenant, just because... Oh my god, dude, can we hit something? Like, gosh. I mean, now I know I have a switch, but, because, you know, he leered me 110 million times. So it's going to Rokusho, bite, that's fine. Oof. Okay, now we can switch back. Switch back on a pride. Super potion, that's nice. So we'll go for the rock smash. We'll see if we can lower some defenses. There we go. We'll we'll see if we can just continue lowering some defenses here, man. That's what we'd like to see. I mean granted, yeah, there's the flinch. I was say there's gonna be a flinch here soon. Twice in a row, huh? Gonna be the hat trick? Nope. No hat trick for you, bud. Super potion, though. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna keep rock smashing that crap out of you. Get there, Mr. Kangaskhan. 
Now get on out of here. So that was level 24. Um, okay, so his ace was level 24, so that's the thing. The dynamo badge? Hell yeah, dude. We got us a dynamo badge. Very nice. All right, so now, now, who, what are you going to give us for the TMY? So TM34, what is TM34 going to hold? Because normally I think it would be like Shockwave or something like that. Um, contains Pursuit. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Pursuit's not a bad move. It's, I mean, I guess it is if you're... If your opponent doesn't end up ever switch, it's a annoying move because it doesn't do anything. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go get the bike. And Mr. Riddell, running shoes, yes I did. I would like the mock bike, please. Mock, thank you all. All oh, right, I forgot you can switch them. All right, so let's go ahead and register that now. Key items, mock bike, register. Now, I know there's some trainers over here that I can fight. Just to get some more experience in, you know. Oh, Gyarados and a Slowbro, okay. Boy, it makes me really wish that we had a uh, Really makes me wish that we had a uh, an electric type. <laughs> Hypercutter, you cannot lower this attack power. Just not something that you can do. But we can take out your Gyarados. So now, as long as this slow bro does not use, oh boy, yawn. That's annoying. And vice grip. Dead Pidgeot. I was actually kind of a little bit afraid of that Pidgeot. Swampert, huh? Alright, so now Roku shows him. Yeah, Roku goes to sleep. So let's just go ahead and switch out into Alexis. And then we can try to just rock smash the Swampert. Just to lower the defense, really, and my, now my accuracy's gone. Alright, so that Slowbro could potentially be scary here, pretty directly. Um. Now, if Pride could wake up sometime soon. And so we need also need to get rid of this uh, this Swampert. Just because I'm getting real tired of the mud slaps. <laughs> Not a fan of the mud slaps, man. Not at all. Alright, so you're going to continue using Growl, huh? Well, I guess that means that we can go ahead. Oh no, we'll we'll keep you in there. You can use absorb. We'll swap you out with not tog. Just in case. Oh, okay. So yawn. So that's the thing. So now we can go ahead and swap you out for Okusho again, and then you use vice grip, and then vice grip, and then vice grip. <laughs> Oh, oh boy, okay. Yeah, I really need him to wake up. Rokusho, bud, wake up. <laughs> uh, not Tog, since you're gonna go to sleep, let's go on to Pride. Oh boy, everyone's asleep. Oh, Pride woke up, dope. Curse. Can we put him to sleep? <laughs> there we go. Oh, good job, Rokusho. All right, good. So since his thing is stupidly high, we can, we're just gonna go ahead and go for the uh, the guaranteed 23 damage with Seismic Toss, just to, you know, take him out. All right, Porygon, that's fine, dude. Okay, so you trace. All right, that's fine. Rock Smash and Blast Scrape. Back to the digital world with you. All right, so you're a thing. Uh, it's gonna go. There's a vice grip and then flamethrower, and now you are dead. One Cradilly. Hell yeah, dude. Goat is leveling up in the world. Love it to see. Him. Love to see. Him. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
an odor or something. Do you fight me too? How about you? You gotta fight me, right? Yeah. Something about your melody of rock and roll. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well. Uh. Let's see, as long as it doesn't have solar beam, I guess. Mud shot. Speed fell. Well, apparently, apparently, even though I'm 11 levels higher than you, my speed doesn't count worth a damn because you're a Groudon. And you can keep using your ancient powers, dude. I'm still gonna water gun you to death. So we've run into Kyogre. We've run into Groudon. We've run into Lugia. We've run into Ho-Oh. We've run into Raikou. We've run into Moltres. How many legendary Pokemon are we gonna run into on this playthrough? If you count the last one, we've run into the three weather trio, or we've ran into the weather trio already, because you know Rayquaza wiped the floor with us. Um, no, I don't care about your freaking melodies, dude. Like you're that one bard who I did, who I would literally just leave at the pub. Like if we were playing D and D and you were the bard tr or trying to be the bard, we would purposefully just like tie you to the bed and leave you there to rot. And that's what I, that's how I feel about people, you know, f forcing their phone numbers, Ugh. forcing their numbers into my phone. A Mewtwo. Okay, so again with the whole, you know, let's see how many freaking legendaries we can find in one playthrough. So now we can just chalk Mewtwo up there too. Jeez, disable. That's cool. Vice grip Mewtwo. Take that. Powder snow. Okay. Oh, what? Okay, that's not annoying at all. I was like, can we roast that Mewtwo? Rokusho, can you wake up? Or I guess unthaw? <laughs> um, today? All right, man, everyone is gaining levels really nicely though. So I guess we gotta go back and thaw out Rokusho. Wasn't expecting the powder uh, powder snow to like instantly freeze us, so that's that's pretty crazy. Take a few seconds. That's nice. Let's get out of here. Let's get up on out of here. All right, another double battle. We'll take the double battle now. I know there is that family right there who does a lot of battles, but I really don't want to battle them right now because just because I know it's like a gauntlet, and I don't want to take the chance of not being able to heal. Um, our Pokemon if we need to, you know what I mean? Water gun. That's fine, Storm. You can charge. You're recovering. That's that, that. That's nice. And Rock Smash. Just lower the defense. Rapid Spin. That's fine. And then the Vice Grip will finish you off. Well, not finish you off, but lower you enough to where Rock Smash can. All right, let's get up on. Let's do this. All right. So now we do. I'm going to switch out uh, Rokusho from the top spot. Uh, we're going to bring Not Tog in there just so we can get some more experience, you know, kind of, you know, spread it, spread the experience a bit. Yeah, that's the Winstray family or the hell they're, he just called them, I guess. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we'd like to use Rock Smash. Now up here is the news reporter people. They can battle for the nice double battle. I remember I used to just follow these guys around just to level up. Um, all right, so bubble and then water gun. Water gun. Okay, so water gun. I'm just gonna kill it anyway. All right. Bubble. Blah 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 blah. Tail whip. That's nice. Vice Grip and Rock Smash. Oh! There we go, man. Not Tog is... No, I'm not. Don't interview me. Don't do it. Nope. Nope. Don't want to interview you. I do not want to be interviewed by you. Um, Scarlet with a Swine Up. I'm not Tog with Bubble. Because you're a ground type, right? Yeah, you are. No use of ground. Do not freeze me though, because that that's just not nice. Because I don't have any full heals, and you know I don't think they sell, you know, the the dethawing ones. <laughs> so 
Sirske, let's go to Bubble, that's fine. We're gonna go and Vice Grip you. Quick Tag, that's fine too, because now you're just dead. Now, not Tog is starting to gain some levels. Dude, I wish we could find another Lucky Egg. Like, when we found that Lucky Egg, that was like the greatest thing ever. Like, it, it is such a good item to have. A Barboach. A Barboach. Oh, wait, why am I using that? Because it's Park Ground type. Oh, okay. That did a lot. Okay. <laughs> that one scared me a little bit. Just because I know Magnitude has a chance to be, like, dumb strong. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and heal up our Not Tog with a Soda Pop. Pop a top again. Wait, that's a beer song, not a soda pop song. Never mind. All right, I'm strong. I won't cry if I lose. I will because you have a whooper. And you know, the one time that we actually got a whooper, it died when it evolved into a quagsire because a freaking giant green sky dragon clawed it to death. So you know, that made me sad. That, that made my fifis hurt. It hurt my fifis. All right, so that stomp actually hurt quite a bit. <laughs> Let's go into Prad. Rock smash. And a critical hit on top of that, dude. Go, go Pride, dude. All right. Uh, Growlithe, that's fine, dude. We got uh, we got some move or two for you there, Growlithe. Oh, you're gonna use Intimidate? That's cool. Check out this water gun. Wonder if Polyrath learns Hydro Pump. All right, so what route is this? Route, 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 route. Well, it's route 112, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. So, 112. No, two, not three. Thank you. So now, let's see here what we can get here on this route here, on this route 112. Okay, so we get another chance at a Chin Chow. Um, you should definitely be able to live this because he's much closer level to you now. So now let's go ahead and switch. I was in a pride. Just because I know if you do have like spark, oh, some kind of electric type move we should definitely be able to take it a little more easily with pride than the other let's go for a great ball there we go hell yeah dude chin chows are great all right so do we want to give a nickname to chin chow we will nickname chin chow clapper because you can clap on, clap off. And the clapper. I don't know. Don't don't ask me why I name things the way that I do. This is what happens when I don't ask other people to name things for me. I come up with these kind of names. An Armaldo. Oh wait, I guess I got a chin chow. <laughs> I love how my phone was like, did you mean chinchilla? And then I'm like, nope. I said what I said. All right, Soda Pop, not Tog, that's fine. I'm glad that you used that instead, so that way I can use Bubble, since you're a rock bug. Rock bug, get on out of here. Level 18, hell, ooh, a Scizor. We got something perfect for you, Scizor. His name is Goat. Do not think he's a goat, because he's not. He's actually, you know, Hellhound. But, you know, we call him Goat here. An Octillery, huh? Mm. Now, wait, Octillery is just pure water type, isn't it? It's not Water Rock. But it has Octozooka, which is a water move? Or yeah? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, I don't know. I think Octozooka is... I don't remember. I thought it was like some something stupid like a rock type move. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking that, but... For whatever reason, that's where my brain goes. Maybe it's because of the animation for it. Like, it, it, I don't know. 
dude messing with this space bar for the speed up button and then trying to tap Z for A is like weird my fingers out because I'm like really tired doing this. <laughs> All right, so this is Fiery Path. Fiery Path. Now, I should probably heal up, shouldn't I? No, nah, we're pretty good. All right, Fiery Path, show me what you got. Who you got for me? You got a horsey. Horsey. Well, I mean, so it's either we have a team full of dark types or we have a team full of water types. You know what I mean? It's nuts. Or not. I thought maybe he'd be able to live another one. <gasps> okay. A Trico. That would have been cool. Having a ground or yeah, ground type. Having a grass type? I would have been okay with that. Bitch. That for that. Get on out of here, Mr. Trico. You don't want none. All right. Well, okay. A Tyrogue. Again, that would have been a pretty cool one. Now, I don't know if Tyrogue actually knows any fighting type moves. No, I think he just knows tackle for a while. Then he might learn Brick Break later on. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't remember. Uh, all right. So, Route 112. Okay. So, we already have our encounter for... Route 112. Ross berries, I don't remember what they do. Petcha berries are always, always pickable. Um, just because of, you know, the poison. Um, make her go away. <laughs> Alright, can you guys face each other again? Face each other. Face each other. No, face each other. What are you doing? Okay, I guess not. I was hoping for the double battle. Ooh, it's a Venusaur. Well, Mr. Venusaur, if you have something for you. Oh, you have something for me. Fine, but that's... Oh, we woke up. Didn't appreciate that. Was not a fan of the whole whipping thing. It was a golem, huh? All right, well, let's go out into pride just in case if it wants to explode. Um, yeah, so anyone from the golem, well, golem or graveler... I think I'm always going to have, like, a fear of. Fear that they're going to try to explode. Um, you know. For obvious reasons. Alright, so not Tog versus Scyther. Scyther! Good thing I didn't switch. Focus energy, that's cool. We're just going to false swipe. Would have left this up with 1 HP regardless. Ooh, nice and... My experience based. So what's up, EB? We got a submission for you. It's called the Sharpshooter. And that's a an oldie but a goodie, right, Bret Hart? All right. Well, I didn't want to do that one to that, but okay. All right. Let us go, go, go. Yeah. Show me how much I've worked on my Pokemon. How about not? Ooh, a Parasect. What's up, Mr. Parasect? Looks like you're trying to say hi. I would like you to say hi to Goat. I would not like you to paralyze my dog, though. Like, that's just rude. Ooh, Bubble Beam. Hell yeah, dude. We'll definitely learn Bubble Beam. Get rid of Bubble. Come to the Sand Slash. Let's go ahead and test out that new move of yours, huh? A bubble beam instead of bubble. Look at all those extra bubbles. So, I love the fact that Kingler has a VMAX. Now, can Crawdon get one too? Just kidding. I'm kidding. Don't yell at me, Mitch. I can already feel you angrily typing on your phone and or keyboard. <laughs> Alright, so... Now, what are you going to give us? Now, normally this would be secret power. Normally he'd give us secret power so we can go up the trees like this or the weird brick things or the weird block things on the mountainside and make secret bases out of them. Um, you secret power from the tree, except the TM that you gave me is not secret power. It is what? You should make one too. Another thing you don't have to make secret base. Try using secret power on walls. I'm going to look for other places. Okay, bye. So that was T. 
TM43. Defense currently, you're fucking useless. Oh, orange berries are good. We'll pick up these orange berries. And then we will go over here and then down here. And then here and then get a free rest because that's just what old ladies do. They're just like, oh yes, we will we will accept these young children into our home, let them sleep, and heal their death monsters. And by death monsters I mean Pokemon. Alright, were you in actual battle or are you just standing there? Oh, thank you for the raspberry. Raspberries. I like raspberries. Raspberries are delicious. Alright, something about Pokemon actors. I wasn't paying attention to you, Cool Trainer Bob. A wall ring. Okay, maybe I should have been paying attention to you. Holy crap. Water gun? That's fine. I'm gonna continue to vice grip the shiznet out of you. There we go, not talk. Just picking up all that experience. Sudowoodo. We got something for you, Sudowoodo. Not talk's got that bubble beam. Don't you fret. When it comes to Tropius, well, Not Bob does not have something for you, but we got we got goat. Look at this man, you got this weird dinosaur looking thing with the bananas hanging off its chin. Well we got goat. Who's not a goat? He's a dog. No, I don't want to be friends with you. Alright, let's go. Alright, so Route 113. 113. The ashy place. Let's go collect some ash. And the world will turn to Tobitic. Okay. I will definitely try to catch me a Togetic. Um, Great Ball. One, two, three. Dope. We got us a Togetic, the happiness Pokemon. It is said when a Pokemon that brings good fortune. When it spots someone who is pure of heart, a Togetic appears and shares its happiness with that person. Well, we were just talking about the sharpshooter. And then this thing said heart somewhere randomly. So we're just going to call it Brett. Even though I know Brett Hart's name didn't have two T's in it. That's fine. I, I don't know why I said his name in past tense. He's still alive, I think. Pretty sure he's over in AEW. Uh, Youngster Joe, we got... A okay. If you could wake up not talk like today, bro. Oh my gosh, dude! Thank you. Like just you know the full five turns, just you know just keep sleeping, you know, because you need a damn nap. That's what you need. You need a nap. All right, so let's go ahead and get Alexis out front. And this is an item, right? Found a revival. Or we don't need these revival items, dude. Why? I was like, why do you keep giving me all these revival items? They're both small people. Stanler and a Milotic. Alright. So absorb on the Milotic. And a rock smash on the antler. Stantler. Absorb. Pfft, do anything to it. So fire powers are weakened. That's fine. Rocks, man. Oh, dead ant. Dead stammer. Muck. Murk. And I can't even switch out to, uh... I can't even switch out into goat now because they use water sport. So that means all of our fire type moves will be damn near useless. So... I guess let's start double teaming on this thing. Lower the defense. Disable, that's not cool. So, two things are hurt by wrap. There we go, we'll take out that Milotic, just because Milotics are big, bulky, sea serpent dragon thing. Yeah, it's Alakazam, okay. Um, Alakazam. Uh, that was my, my best impression for an Alakazam. I ain't, I ain't got much more, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, I guess now we have to switch. So you cut. Pride go out to go. Oh, I guess we could have. I guess I could have switched them, switched them both out. Um, 
Or I guess it didn't even matter. Because I could have gone out into uh, our Crawdont as well. What? We missed a flamethrower? I thought flamethrower... Oh, we're disabled. Okay. I said, how the hell did we miss a, a flamethrower? Hey, <laughs> we got beaten easily. You're damn right you did. All right, Pokemaniac with your Rapidash. What's up, Mr. Rapidash? Check out this cow. Ooh, nice and critical hit. Alexis didn't give a damn. Here comes a Furret. Okay, so we got pride for that. Ferret. Dude, I remember once upon a time, um, I just learned about ferrets, and I didn't know what the fuck they were actually called, so I actually called them ferrets. And I said that in school, and these older kids were like, what are you talking about there? What's a ferret? And I was like, you know, and I described a ferret. And they're like, well, it's not called that. I was like, actually, it is, because I thought that I knew what the fuck I was talking about, but I didn't, because I was a little kid. Um, and I got put in my place real good. <laughs> You know, like I should have been. A Cleffa. So get out of here, Cleffa. <laughs> Just get knocked down. Knocked back. Use your parcel, whatever. You don't even have a Nummel. Ah, you don't have a Nummel. That is not a Nummel. That is a Rhydon, if I ever done seen one. Who just loves Absorb because he's got that rock ground type in, dude. And then you're sending using horn attack. She's like, nah, man, I'm rock type, man. You, you, you can't do that. Get all that delicious XP. Huff, huff, I'm exhausted. Yeah, probably because you're walking around. I don't want your phone number. Probably because you're walking around, you know, in falling ash. Oh, we could have got a Charmander? Dude, a Charmander would have been so cool. So I definitely know who I'm switching Puccian out for. Just throwing that out there. That's why I haven't been training him. Just because I, I know exactly who I'm switching him out for as soon as we get to a Pokemon Center. Um, so Nick and Stu with a Matang and a Machop. All right, so I know we're gonna need to get rid of that Matang, like, ricky tick. So, and I really don't wanna switch anyone out because Shit, I guess I have to. Um, let's go on to Rokusho for you. And then we will Rock Smash the Matang. Yeah. So we'll go for the guaranteed damage there. There we go. Yeah, just go for the guaranteed damage. That's what we like. We like the guaranteed stuff. So down goes the Matang. Then we can start bopping on. Ooh. That was a very nice Machop. Critical hitting pride? Like, what the hell, dude? What did he ever do to you? Alright, so this guy here is like, hey, take this bag, collect some ash, bring it back, and I'll make a pipe for you. I mean, a flute for you. <laughs> Gotta be careful with that one, I guess. Damn. Alright, so. Let us go ahead and, and heal, <laughs> because we need it. We're going to need to go back to that place in Slateport and get some uh, healing sodas, pops. I love the fact that they're cheaper, but right, they're cheaper than super potions, but they're more effective than super potions. If I'm remembering correctly. I mean, I could be I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how that's how it was. Because I think they're like 300 or something like that per thing, and they they heal you 60. As for super potions, I want to say they're like 700, and they heal you 50. So yeah, you got some explaining to do. I mean, granted, the super potions are probably healthier for you because you know they're not soda, but I don't think that our Pokemon really care. <laughs> And execute. I mean, now the Pokemon Pete is gonna be all after me. Just like, how can you feed your Pokemon soda? It's so bad for him. I'm like, hey, it fucking heals him. Like, a lot. <laughs> for the levels they are, it heals him a lot. So, y'all can. Cosmic power. Uh, what is that? 
Raises uh, special defense and it's a Mr. Mime. Raises special defense and physical defense, I think. Get out of here, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mimes have always been really creepy to me. I don't, I don't know why. I like, I, I like them. Um, I actually really like them in uh, Pokemon Stadium. I don't know how many of you guys have played the original Pokemon Stadium. But whenever... Oh, oh I thought we hit my flame body. But whenever you had a Mr. Mime, and if you use any kind of psychic attacks, he, like, rolled his fist around and then just, like, threw his palms at you, like, almost like some weird kind of Dragon Ball Z move. And to me, that was pretty cool. Um, like, I thought it was cool. I don't know. Other people might not have, but I did. Yeah, come on. Let's get this double battle on the road. We're at that 50-minute mark. Blossom and a Typhlosion. Huh. All right. Well. Hmm. So let's go ahead and switch you out into the crucial and then we will fight again the Typhlosion. So fight again the Typhlosion. And Blossom can do whatever. Oh, bugger. Crucial of Ice Grip, Magical Leaf, Tackle, Water Gun, Dead Camerupt. Like, you don't even know Camerupt. Like, you just straight up just insta -murked. And Dead Blossom. There's a Relicanth. Dude, we have fought. It feels like we fought a lot of these things, but I know this is only the second one. I don't know. It just feels like we fought a lot of them. Sazbitos, get that fishy on out of here. All right, dude, prize level 30 now, dope. All right, so, Pokemon Center. Oh, and then we get Labette, Le Liette, Lynette, Lafayette. Are you from True Blood? Who are you, Labette? Lynette, Lynette, that's who you are. Route 114, we haven't reached that one yet. But, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end it here today because I am debating if I'm actually physically here right now because I'm how tired I am. And it's been 52 minutes. So we're, we're at that hour mark again. So, I definitely think we've made quite a bit of... I think we're definitely making up quite a bit of time because I know last time, what, it was 12 episodes long. We just got past... The fourth gym and then we were going on to the fifth gym and now we're getting ready to hit the fourth gym eventually here soon somewhere um and this is three episodes so you know so i think we're definitely making up some pretty good time so anywho thank you guys so much for coming out and watching i hope you guys have enjoyed and we will catch you guys in the next one have a good one bye now